Hello everyone. Under the ECMO Troubleshooting Simplified series, today we will see about clotting on ECMO. Clots can be seen in the oxygenator, circuit, centrifugal pump and the cannulas. Clots can uh, lead to oxygenation failure. Due to that, we may not be unable to continue the ECMO flow, ultimately resulting in patient's death. What causes this clotting? Inadequate anticoagulation, low ECMO blood flows, not flushing the sampling lines with the heparin flush regularly after withdrawing any samples, especially in the pre and post oxygenator pigtails where we measure uh, pressure or uh, in the sampling ports. How can we prevent this uh, clotting? Examine the circuit cone, cannulas, and oxygenator daily for any clots to be seen. Check for HIT antibody or serotonin release SA if suspected. If apparent resistance is suspected or need for high apparent infusion rates, check antithrombin 3 level. Examination of digits and extremities for embolic signs should be done. And regular neurological examinations has to be conducted. How to manage Clotting on ECMO. Verify anticoagulation status via PTT, ACT, or antifactor 10A level. Increase the anticoagulation goal. Exchange the oxygenator if large clot is visualized or oxygenator is malfunctioning. Replace the circuit or remove ECMO if you visualize a clot in the arterial cannula side or in the circuit. Switch to heparin alternatives like ergotropan or bivalaridine in patient with suspected or confirmed HIT.